it's not rotating. It's not it's really just standing up. It's just like a yeah. fish. So it has two cans. Two yeah. shines. Oh, two okay. cans. So yeah. it can record twenty to fifty movies at any time, at any place. So okay. you don't have to move it back and forth. Leave it as is, and that's okay. Okay. So. Cool. Okay. All right. Well, uh, I was just pulling up our. Um. Well, was I just showing my password too? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> so we know that. Failure to uh, hit tab button. <laughs> 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 um, okay. At least it didn't be like, I hate my colleagues and my password. <laughs> 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 that is Some worse. kind of That's criminal worse. password or something. The worst case scenario. Right. <laughs> Maybe how about, I love my colleagues. Right. <laughs> I love my <laughs> I love working here. <laughs> right. Okay, where am I going? Um, Help, me here. Help me here. Help me here. Okay. <laughs> so, okay, so, um, so I'm going to just say uh, it's been a little tricky working with Barrett because he has this kind of evolving idea of what he wants us to do. Okay. Um, and he's just very flexible in, in the way, like, oh, let's do this thing. Oh, no, let's try this thing. Oh, uh, so um, we don't have a roadmap, you say? Right. Okay. So, um, so the latest idea that uh, he's proposed, it, we still developed the rubric. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, basically, he, the, the, the NRM step now, let me just go to the website. We'll go over the rubric in a second. Um, uh, what's that called? R P I. So these other guys that we've been talking about, the this concept of brain friendly design. Yep. And Paul Bowles um, had the research lab over at R J I. And the boy just left to Austin. But um, he had the skin receptors and testing some, some of the biometrics to people's responses to media. And so the last year's fellow, this guy Alex Remington, came in and um, said, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna um, look at these stories and see which ones are brain friendly and which are brain unfriendly. Right. And Paul Bowles was talking about the brain um, kind of having three different levels of processing. Well, actually, they still had that lab right over there, right? Right, they so still do. So we there? need to, yeah, we might, we need to meet and see. Well, yeah, see actually, if we, can. if we can, I think we can just go ahead and ask whether we can just use the lab. So maybe you could conduct a little bit of using all these devices, like sensors and right. you know, eye tracking systems. Yeah, well, definitely yeah. we need to call up and see. Yeah. And, and set right. up that meeting, but um, but in the context of Barrett's project, so he's taken on this the concept of this brain friendly um, idea, and, and what's brain friendly design, and this Paul Bowles basically put it in the, the that the brain has limited capacity. You know, we can we can only remember like three things at a time, and, mm -hmm. and that's the same for design. We shouldn't inundate them with it. It's contextual, so it remembers things best in the context of a related story, the media ties with that, and it's also motivational that we're motivated by feelings or a, a concept, and so Barrett is interested in us looking at these three sort of concepts about brain friendliness mm. and putting the usability concepts, tying them with those. Um, so I don't know how we travel down that road, yeah, but, well. but this is, so um, this was just one first start. Ben Richardson, who is one of our graduates, he contacted me and he said, hey, I want to volunteer for a few hours a week. He worked in journalism projects before, so I said, okay. So this was his attempt at trying to uh, group usability concepts on these three 
ideas of brain friendliness. The, okay. That the brain is a limited capacity processor, it's contextual, and it's motivational. Well, as far as I understand, they have more than one try. So we're just going to create some general rules and some general rubrics to test right. a couple right. uh, uh. tries. Right. So when we're talking about the general rules and usability, it's really hard to find out what they're going to do. You know, uh, sometimes our cognitive workbook, for example, just tied to some specific the website. The limited capacity yes, yep, kind right. of one. Yeah. So it maybe it could be a good idea that uh, we may just go ahead and use our eye tracking system when we are just looking at the screens. And so, in, you know. Yeah, well, I, I wanted to say he doesn't want to do any, like, uh, we're still doing the rubric. Right? We, we're not changing just too rubric. much. Yeah. So just so kind of adaption of still rubric? Still adaption okay. of the rubric. Okay. So it makes sense. Yeah, I mean, he still has a certain. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I see. Yeah. Because he, he is in a sense sort of not anti tech, but. I see. Um, okay. And, uh, so so the idea was to try to take what his next idea was that we would use the same six articles that these guys did and put it in a survey mm -hmm. and ask some basic questions about those six okay. articles. Do you think they're brain friendly? And so there's some basic three basic questions he wanted to ask. Is it um, and that we might do this simple survey tying to their past research. Um, but our role is still to to try to come up with a rubric to, to do that other piece where we um, uh, evaluate the 10 websites based on a rubric about news readership, news articles, yeah. Yep. So it's not like a total well, shift where we get to well, go do eye tracking. I can understand <laughs> that, yeah, I can understand that. Yeah. They're looking for a kind of quick wins, like, okay, yeah. we have a kind of template that if you apply your product to that template, you can just learn how it works well. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it is really hard for us to create something like that. But you know, yeah. uh, for example, uh, as we discussed earlier, uh, how about, you know, the use of language is important for some yeah. cases, but not for some cases. You know? Uh, yeah. yeah uh, how, how maybe we what we could do is just kind of see what everybody's got and then put it together in one like we did before and then just start trying to, mm. to narrow it down. Yep. We've been working on that kind of this white space. What I've got somebody to at least appear to look at all the rubrics. Yeah, those things that I've talked to people. I used to see New York Times. What make, can make you want to read something? Is it the bold font? Is it the color green? Is it whatever? So, now there are two. Now, after you are attracted to it, it's your brain. That, that brain friendly thing. A brain friendly means, uh, according to me, the kind of um, decreasing the cognitive workload. You know, yeah, yeah just it is completing right. the test easily yeah. in a short amount of time. Doesn't make me feel stressed or yeah, you know, right. the, the the design is easy to read, yeah. easy to scan, of course. Yeah, so yeah here's an patterns. example that, that they made. So mm -hmm. they said this one is brain friendly. And this one is unfriendly. And we said, well, wh how, why? Yeah, it depends. Right. And, and, and we said, well, what were the criteria that you said were brain friendly and what was not? And so Barrett is wanting to tie his work with this. Oh, um, how about that? How about. Uh, and so here, uh, yeah. Uh, you know, uh, we are just using areas of interest when we are evaluating mm -hmm. the test. It means that, okay, the. Yeah. Those are the parts that users should focus on when completing the test. So on the right side, there are like four or five areas yeah. of interest that we can just easily define. On the left hand side, we can just find at least, at most four actually. So maybe one rubric could be that, how many area of interest, how many areas mm -hmm. do you presenting to your students at the same time yeah, at the time. Visual components yep, or yep, something. Visual components. So that could be one so this measurement one too. If it is more than three, three means four, that five, you're six, increasing seven. cognitive workload and it means that it is not brain friendly. 
Right, so, so, uh, but for, for desktop, yeah. for desktop browser, oh, right, that's gonna change. Uh, uh, I mean, the right page, the, the page on the right, it, it might be designed for mobile use, 